some people have been known to take a piece of tape and just wrap this optical sensor in a piece of tape and that pretty much avoids this whole card thing and that's all this card thing is is really this card comes in and it just breaks this optical sensor link you put a piece of electrical tape right there and essentially you just did the same thing we're not going to deal with this little card what we're going to do a piece of tape is yeah, okay a piece of tape could work but it could also fall off and cause all the problems and yeah i don't want that so i've grabbed a few different sizes here of some heat shrink tube from the lab figuring one of them is going to fit perfectly eh, I can either go over the transmitter or I can go over the receiver I don't see a difference on which one would be better to go over probably the transmitter, I want to go over the transmitter uh, that says LED4 so that's going to be your transmitter that's going to be yours here, so I want to block the signal from leaving. That's going to be your best bet, my best bet, I think. Uh, let me see something. Uh, my precision tools down here. Let me take this and cut it about yay big. Drop it over top, and that way, if somebody does stick a card in here, it's not going to catch on it and not going to cause an issue. Shouldn't. I should be able to heat this up without also causing an issue to the board. A little fast. And push down on it. LED should be able to take that little bit of heat. I think we're good. So let's go ahead and slide it back in. Put this ground back into the little slot there where it goes. Keeping it separated. I like the way that they have a little groove here to separate that ground wire. There's a little groove to separate that ground from the actual secondary AC coming off of the transformer. It's very slick, very smart. Very nicely done. Very nicely wrapped transformer too. Gotta say. Now let's say somebody does stick a card in here still. I want to make sure it's not going to hit. Nope. It's not going to hit that at all. Perfectly fine. Now we could do a quick test before we actually put the screws all the way in. But I'm not going to do it completely uncovered. That would be a little silly. Well, I could, but it only takes a second to actually throw the cover back on. It's not like this thing is really complicated to take apart because it's not. Although now it's going to prove me wrong, right? It's going to be like, that's what you thought. I'm going to be complicated putting together though. Taking apart was easy. Putting together, I'm going to make your life Seems to be this back plug back here. This guy doesn't want to seem to slot right. For some reason, he's giving me a problem. Why are you giving me a problem? We're completely down. Nothing's hitting you there. Nothing's hitting you there. That wire's out of the way. That wire's out of the way. That's still in the groove where it should be. Yep, everything looks fine and dandy. Not even touching that switch yet. This piece right back here, it seems to be the one piece that wants to give me a little bit of problem because it has these little squeezing little adapters, that's why. So I'm gonna have to actually squeeze in. So let's squeeze in. Means we'll just have to give it a little bit of pressure, that's all. Or maybe I'm gonna have to take a little screwdriver and Push those squeeze in and of course why make it easy right shouldn't make it that easy okay so 
I had that sealed up. No screws in here, but good enough to test the uh, pea shrink and keep it protected. For this to work, it's going to want an iron. So we're gonna to have to give it an iron. So we'll give it this one. Give it that one. Put that over here. We'll give it a sleep. In fact, let's just go ahead and swap this out. And then we can give it its main power. And as we turn it on, it comes up to 300. I should be able to hold this and change my temperature accordingly without a problem. And it goes to sleep. And no card. Just a piece of heat shrink over the LED. And that wraps it up enough. We can run it without a card now. Now I don't see a benefit of needing that card because there's no point of me ever have every time it needs something it says put the card in as long as you know that you can hold this button instead of removing the card and putting the card back some people actually think you need the card because some people think you need to remove the card and put the card back in just to change the temperature that's not always that's not true you could always hold the star key and that will prompt you to change your temperature as well and that's the same thing so works just as good I'm happy with that kept it nice and clean at the same time all the screws are the same length they were nice to keep that nice and easy so let's go ahead and drop all these screws in pull this tip out because I can smell the heat burning off of it. I'll set this in the back out of the way. There we go. Self-tapping screws, nothing special about them. There we go. Plug everything back in again. Should be able to get in the program mode. No problem. That should turn off the beep. Apparently that doesn't turn off the beep. Wrong one. Was it number five that turned off the beep? I think it was number five that turned off the beep. Yep. Because there it says no iron. And I got no beep. So I'm able to do everything that I was able to do before without the card. So again, we'll give it a tip. Sleep is hooked up. No card is plugged in. Turn it back on. And watch it reach 300. I believe I turned beat back on, right? Yep, and it went to sleep automatically. Pull the card off. See, we got red on our 2027 here. And we can show you everything is working just the way it should. Oops. Pull a couple wires off here. or this capacitor. Still looks good, put it back in. Back to sleep it goes. Hold this button down. Decide to change the temperature. Hold this button down again. Decide to change the temperature again. 
we'll go 275. Once the temperature drops. Wow, did it climb up to 380 really quick, didn't it? I couldn't even change it back fast enough from making that 380 mistake. All without the card. Programming function is still there too. You can hold that down and you can change that as well as far as your offset goes. So your offset programming is still there. So nothing special there. Everything still works. Back to sleep. Should say sleep. Interesting. Why aren't we saying sleep? Is it because I'm under 300? I think it's because I'm under 300. So let's go back up. Sleep. Yep. So 275 will stay active. 300 will allow it to go to sleep. And sleep puts it down to 200. So I don't see where 275. 275 will still oxidize your tip. So I guess the lowest you want to keep this as is probably 300. I haven't checked the tip of the temperature yet with the calibration tool, yet, but I have no problem. I just guarantee that this is going to be dead on. There you go, my little tutorial on how to bypass the card. No electrical tape, no little button mod, no permanent modification at all, just a little bit of heat shrink tubing. Every hobbyist has it. Every professional should have it, and everybody should have a way to shrink it, even if it's just flicking a bick. So, thanks for watching, and keep on tinkering, stay safe, don't forget to subscribe, and all that good stuff.